Hello. Right, on this last video of this amazing series, this one is the fourth video, so this is deleting records. Now, as with all of these, you may have noticed that the code is actually pretty much exactly the same, but it is the same, and the only thing that differs is the command string. And this, this is the same for add, edit, and deleting. It's slightly different for uh, the SQL, where you're just doing select from where, because you're using a data reader. But you, you basically what you do is you chuck SQL or, or the SQL add it for add, edit, and delete, and that's all it is really. There's nothing more to it than that. So I'm going to do delete, and then again, with all of these things, I'm not going to write it myself. I'm going to get it to write it for me. So I'm going to go to new query. Um, student double click close and then all I really need is the student ID because that's why I just need to identify the record I'm going to delete and, and that's it and I'd want to use the primary key there so that's my select from and I want to change that which is default to delete and there we go so it's delete from student now what we need is a filter here on that so let's do it because if I'm not done okay let's go back to SQL and make sure I had student ID this time right if I put a filter on it now let's try again and I'll change type to delete Okay, that seems to have got it that one. Pretty sure it used to work the other way. Right, delete from student where TBL student ID equals that. So again, just gonna, I'm going to do this all on one line because it is not very big. Right, so I'm going to copy that. Go into my code and paste it into here. I don't need to worry about the line. So delete from student ID where equals that. So again, I do the same thing as before. Close the quote, plus sign, space, plus sign, quote, and then put in my student ID that I want to delete. So I'm going to get it from the combo box. So combo student ID, dot, not text though, like I just did, it's selected value. Okay, so there we go. So that is it. Right, so let's run it. It is pretty straightforward, is that? Um, and off we go. So let's delete. Ken, all right. Now I'm doing this on purpose because Ken should delete that problem. Oops, let's try again. Right, so delete Ken. Now, nothing happened there. Ken could still be there, but the one way of finding out if we run it again is Ken going to be there? Oh, he is. Hang on, that didn't work, did it? Hang on, let's try it again. Now, Oh, now it didn't let me do that because it says it's got a late. Did I add a late to Ken? I did add a late to Ken now, which is, and it says I can't delete it, Ken, because he has related records. Now, the way around that is to go into your database. Um, I obviously didn't press the button one at first time. Now, if you go to database tools relationships, you've got the relationship between the two tables. Double click on that, and if you click on both those cascade update is really the delete we want. Oh, come on. And then click OK. What should happen is now it will not only delete Ken but any related records to Ken on the mini side only. Yeah. Um, so let's try this again then. Come on, work. Right, OK. So I'm going to select Ken. The reason why I chose Ken is I couldn't I forgot that I actually added records. I didn't think he had any. So delete. Okay, let's close that then and run it again. Now I'm pretty confident this time it's going to work. No Ken. All right, Ken is gone. Right, now it, obviously if there were no relative records, we would have just done it straight away. So let's, let's try and get rid of David's. Well, now it will work anyway because I've done that. Um, obviously, we'd need to refresh stuff. I'm not going to do that now. Um, but now David's is gone as well. Okay, so there we go. Add, edit, update, and delete. And we've got the code to do the display with the SQL. And that's it. I mean, 
it's, it's adding the code now. This can get crazily complex quite quickly. That one is never going to be too complex. Um, and this one is likely to be more complex as you link more and more tables together. But there you go. It's 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 not too difficult. But you know, you, you know, as long as you don't try and write it yourself. I know some people, students, do prefer to. That's fine. You don't have to do it that way. But I think it's easier, less error prone. Okay, that's it.